Okay, I am really excited about this one. I've looked for so long for a cloud bot for Twitch that can do everything I want it to. And I finally found it. And it's Fossabot. So Fossabot is used by some of the top streamers. I mean, we're talking big names. Tim the Tatman. Mother Tim the Tatman is actually how I had heard about Fossabot and started looking into it. So what we're gonna do, we'll go to fossabot.com. It's completely free. If you do like it and wanna support them, they do have a Patreon. So you'll log in with Twitch like you do with most of your other bots that you play with. Log in with Twitch. Now, the first time you log into it, you're gonna see this bot control section right here. Now the bot control section you'll have an option to join channel. So you'll click that button to have it join your Twitch channel. I've already done that, so I don't have that option. You'll also have a pop-up that says, hey, be sure to mod this bot. So you'll make the bot a mod. If you're not familiar with that, you'll just do forward slash mod also bot, and then you're done. You're set and ready to go. I'm not gonna cover all the options that we have here, but it has all your standard commands Keywords is what we're gonna focus on today. So what this is gonna allow you to do is actually create an auto shout out. Now I have another video that does that, that it's probably a year or more old now. So this is gonna be a much better method going forward because you don't have to use the local Streamlabs chat bot anymore. You can just use this cloud bot. And that means this will also work for people with consoles, if you're using Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, you don't have to worry about having a PC to run a client. This will just work in the cloud. So to get started, we'll do a sample. Let's look at one we did right here. So you go to keywords, we'll create a keyword bot. And the first thing we're gonna do for the keyword command is you just name this area, you're just gonna name it something you'll understand what it's for so since these particular keyword commands are for shout outs i just did a prefix so to kind of keep them together you can name that anything you want in here it doesn't matter that's just for you the next section i'll put this in the description below so that you can have your own shout out command and feel free to customize that however you want the shout out command to look you can copy this and paste it for each one of these that you make because what you're going to do is you're going to make one of these for each one of your friends. This is where you'll add the actual Twitch username. So what you're going to do, I'll show you how this works. You literally type the name in. It needs to be exact. So it'll match their username exactly. Be sure to press enter afterward and then it will turn blue. That has gotten me several times. If you don't press enter, it's not going to save that. So be sure to press enter and it's blue before you go any further and finish this. For the user cooldown, this controls how often this can proc. So if you don't have a decent cooldown, then every time this person speaks in your Twitch chat, they're gonna get a shout out every time they speak. We don't want that. So I set mine to something like 18,000 seconds. That comes out to about six hours, I think. So if this is something you only want to happen once per stream, you could take your average of how long you stream and maybe make it a little longer than that. And you'll just calculate that based on how many seconds that comes out to you. So if you want it to happen once per stream, set it to how many seconds for that length. Global cooldown isn't that picky. I just set that to five. I think it defaults to 15. These minimum user level, maximum user level, I just left that alone. The defaults are non subs and broadcast. The next one we're going to pay attention to though is target. Target usually defaults to message content only. What we want to do is username only. So this is going to look at the specific Twitch username field. So the first time this person speaks in your chat per stream or per that cooldown it's going to do whatever this keyword response is so it's going to auto shout them out right here so you want to only match username only and that's going to match the actual username field they don't have to type their username out or anything like that it's just it's going to see their username in chat it's going to match that and it's going to do this command you don't want to do message or anything else because if you do that then anytime anyone mentions them or anything like that it's going to shout them out and you don't want that you don't have to worry about minimum bits you don't have to worry about anything else it defaults to online or offline 
info so you, you don't have to worry about any of that and then you just save the keyword and you can do this for each one of your friends that you want to do this with it's amazing i love it it's so simple i don't have to worry about it anymore because i can just pop in here whenever i think of a friend that oh i need to add them to the auto shout out list and i can add them to this and i don't have to worry about you know firing up yet another bot or something else with each stream that i do now the way keywords work in fossil bot worth mentioning you can add separate phrases so at first i was like okay we can just add another phrase group for another person it will trigger that and while i'm making this video i just now noticed the way i was going to show you and the way i've done this is i've actually created individual commands for each user which is fine and that's nice because now i have the customization if i want to tweak each individual command but and i haven't tested this it looks like you could actually play around with adding a new phrase group for each username if you wanted to do it that way so that's possibly another way to do it where you have one command and then just add your usernames here while we're in here i'll go ahead and show you some of the other things Fossilbot can do. It has your timer commands that are just absolutely simple, straightforward. You create the timer name and then you just tag commands. And then it has this timer interval here. You set how often you want to, and you'll as you add these commands here, it will just automatically know, okay, every 20 minutes, we're gonna rotate through this command. The next 20 minutes, we're gonna rotate this one then it'll automatically make sure that it's not repeating you don't have to worry about you know get, trying to balance all your timing so you don't have a bunch of re repeats so you'll just go to your commands create a command here and then go to your timers right here and that's where you'll link those to create timers for that channel filters are amazing there's so much better than anything else i've seen there's so much you can do here links filters caps filters but then you've got so many more you can do clips link filter you can even go in here and like hey i don't want people to be able to post clips from their own chat or any, there's just so much you can do you can limit what streamers they can post links from in chat of course you got your standard links filter too which will go in with that just want to look at that first emotes filter Repetition filter, symbol filter, actions, all of these one man spam filters. All just dig into this, play with it. One of my favorites is the malware link filter. I think this is something a lot of people are going to like. You know, those bots that are always popping in the chat and say, hey, you want to buy some follows or something like that. So this has known malicious links are automatically removed from chat, like those new bots that are going around at the time this video is made that's actually malicious and will. Get people's ips and boss them and do all kinds of terrible things if they actually click on the usernames so this is a list that's actually managed by the fossil bot team so you don't even have to worry about anything you just set like hey i want it to announce in chat whenever it's caught something i want it to either issue warnings or you just go straight to timing out whatever you want to and that's just going to work off a of malware link list that they maintain and keep updated on the back end it's super cool i love that in ping filter it's got so much stuff in here i've moved all my bot stuff to this one bot you've got your chat alerts of course you can customize however you see fit just like anything else these are pretty straightforward discord notifications so you just set up a webhook and a discord channel i'm not going to cover that and you can set up a template so whenever you go live it'll push to whatever channel you know you're going live notification if you want that we have it will integrate with streamlabs alerts if you do that for donations if you want it to do that live tweets is another cool feature so with live tweets you can actually monitor the twitter feed type your username or the twitter feed you want to manage right here you want to monitor right here and then it will post this to your Twitch chat while you're live whenever they tweet something new. So this is handy, for example, if I'm doing Bethesda stuff, I can follow, I can set up Bethesda support username in here. So then whenever Bethesda support publishes a tweet saying, hey, the server's about to go down at this time for this game, it'll post that live in your Twitch chat and you can keep up with it that way. So actually, you can monitor multiple accounts this way. So we're going to do Bethesda support. And you'll just press enter. 
And when you press enter, it'll let you type others. So you can monitor multiple Twitter accounts that way. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's just some of what you can do. The, the main thing I wanted to cover is I'm just super excited to be able to do an auto shout out for my friends as they pop in the chat again. And I don't have to run like another bot physically on my computer eating resources or anything to do that anymore. One other things on the topic of auto shout out that I want to touch is chat alerts. Remember, if you want to also auto shout out raids, a creative way you can do that is you can take their default template, for example, on this bot or any bot, and you can actually add variables to that. So after they raid, you know, it'll say the default is blah, blah, blah. This user just raided with this many viewers. You can actually use that same variable as I check them out at and that's how I do my auto shout outs for people that raid me that, you know, I'm, I may have not met before. So they're not set up in the auto shout outs here for the keywords. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. You can always be sure to check out classiccaleb.pro for the latest schedules, the best way to contact me, whether that you want to hop in the discord, hop into a Twitch stream. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks.